Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to be showing you the location of the exotic sword and what you need to do to get it. Uh, the exotic sword is pretty cool, uh, so it's definitely worthwhile having. So to, get, to actually get the exotic sword you need to collect 35 of the memory fragments. And once you collect those you can come to the Braytech Future Scape area of the map and go into the Lost Sector. And the cash is in the Lost Sector. All you have to do is go down, interact with it and you get the sword. And that's after 35. Now, it, much to my uh, annoyance, I, d I never recorded myself collecting nearly all of the ones that I collected. I collected about 40 yesterday. and I, But I used a guide for the last five. I'm glad I did because one of them I probably would never have found on my own. So I would suggest check, checking out Esoterics. He's actually got a better guide on his channel today. He's, he's really done well to get them all into their areas and easier to follow than the ones he had up yesterday so uh yep i would use that Datto has a good one I, th I think most people have got one now i'm just a little bit behind on that i generally don't recall myself doing the campaign i collected a lot of them in the campaign so once you've done that now i don't actually have the cash in this video either because i never recorded myself getting it because yes i'm an idiot but uh, I will show exactly where it is. Once you clear this room out, it's just around the corner. I'll shoot the wall exactly where it is. It's a, kind of a tall, dark cache with uh, gold lights. And you just go up and interact with it. For anybody that doesn't know yet, I'll say it anyway. Most people probably do. You have to match the element. You have to match the color with its relevant, relevant element. So blue, arc, purple, void, yellow, solar. White is kinetic and red is Valkyrie. There's three... Uh, hidden memory fragments that need to be collected with the Valkyrie. This is what exactly where the cache will be. You just come around here. You don't have to clear this area. I done it for the purposes of the video. You just go there and interact with it. So once you've collected that, you go to this area of the map. Once you have 45 fragments, you go to this area of the map and there will be a second cache. And this is where you get the exotic sparrow and emblem to show that you've done the quest. I personally am I'm very happy that this is in the game. I think it's about time we've had something to chase. Uh, it's, it is kind of reminiscent of the stuff we had in Destiny 1. It is very reminiscent. I hope they don't stop bringing stuff like this in. Because it's really cool. It gives us, gives us a lot of stuff to do. It gives us more than just, can I get the same guns over and over again? Yes, I can. It gives you a reason to come and check out if nothing else it gives you a reason to come and check out the different areas you know and i think with 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 stuff in the game like uh being able to fast travel you kind of miss out on all that this is exactly where you'll find the cache where i was shooting against the wall is exactly where that cache is uh, it's ex it looks exactly the same as the sword cache and that's how you do that quest now i'm gonna have some gameplay uh showcasing the sword because it's it's, it's a very good sword like I said, it's got elements of the Dark Drinker, it's got elements of the Raze Lighter. Now, I think all swords in Destiny 2 have that Raze Lighter uppercut. I think this is the first one, one that's got any other elements. So, you basically, when you, you have to sprint to activate it in a little icon, a little, a little, a little uh, bit of writing will come up on your screen to let you know you've activated this, this perk. And you just sprint up to a character, and once it activates, you press R RT, and you will go into, you'll teleport into a big kind of buzz saw kind of sword movement. And it's really cool, and you, just like you've seen on there. And the more enemies that are around, the more you'll kill. I was lucky enough to find the exotic masterwork node for this. Uh, it won't tell me how to upgrade it, so I'm not sure if it's actually in the game yet. Because I know Bungie said there were a few that weren't actually in the game yet. But I can produce, I can produce uh, orbs of light with it, so it's still pretty cool. So that is how you get the sword. Uh, check out, as I say, either e I, I would suggest Esoterics, but Datto's got one. I'm pretty sure more consoles got one. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure most of the people, <laughs> most of the people that were at the community summit have one. So. Which stands to reason that they probably had access to stuff before us, but uh, no, no salt, no salt intended. Just you know, check out those guys because they've got really good guides. That's all I'm gonna say. Now, uh, 
There might be a little bit of a spoiler alert coming up. If you don't want to know about any more exotic quests or anything like that, if you if you're one of the if you're that type of person that likes to find everything on your own and stuff like that, then I'm not sure why you're watching this video. But if you are that type of person, then there will be a spoiler just in a bit. I don't know how much of a spoiler it is. I just don't want to come out and say it and someone say, "Oh, thanks a lot for warning us." It wasn't in the it wasn't in the description or anything. I will actually put it in the description. But when I show the emblems, I'm going to be there. Will there'll be an emblem there? Most of you have got this emblem, but I will be telling you what it what it's there for because hopefully I'll have that video up tomorrow. So I'm going to show I'm going to show you the lore for the sword and the lore for the the spiral because obviously I have both of them. And if, for the guys and girls and that are interested in Laura, you can pause the video and read away your heart's content. Which kind of leads me on to, they've actually put a lot in the game. I think this area is, the, is miles better than Mercury. Although I was, I thought Mercury was what it was. It was pretty cool, but it wasn't anything amazing. This is completely different. This is massive. <laughs> this is more like one of the, this, it's almost like, I think it's bigger than Titan actually. It's a big area. I mean, maybe it's not, but it's close to it. It's got to be. I think the War Mind. I think that whole kind of story arc. There are look, there's a scannable a ship which t talks about Prince Aldrin. So it's 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 nice to have all these little little tip bits in the game. I'm wondering what else they've put in that they haven't told us about because at the end of the video, I'm going to be talking about something that they never spoke about, but it has happened. So I'll be put. It's in the end of the video. Uh, I've put the lore up for the sword. I've put the lore up for the 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 spiral. Spiral's pretty cool. It's unlike most of the ones we've had. So don't forget to check out a guide if you need, if you need a guide. Check out a guide. I apologise for not having the locations in this video. I was a complete idiot for not recording because I always look for this stuff. So I don't know why. It took me ages to complete Destiny 2's campaign because I was relentlessly searching for dead ghosts <laughs> till, I, till I was told there was none in the game. So that is the sword. That's that, That's how you do all of that. Uh, and I hope that I hope that does help some of you guys. Now on to the emblem. The emblem is pretty cool. The variant. This is the the that is the bog standard one. Very similar to the ones you get on all the other planets, except this variant you can only get. The Worm Slayer you can only get from completing that quest. So it's a nice little badge of honour to have on. Uh, I had a lot of fun running about with the sword and just having people follow me about wondering what it was. The data mining. This is the spoiler. If you don't want to hear about any more exotics, mute now. That is for the Sleeper Simulant. That is what that's for. And I'm pretty far through that quest. So hopefully I'll have it up tomorrow detailing how you get it and how good it is. So, and the last little thing, just at the end of the video, no more Wardcliffe. No more being able to switch from Wardcliffe to anything else and get full heavy. It's about time. I'm not too, I'm not too bothered about it. There's a lot of variants now with the exotics. So, but I thought I hadn't heard anybody speak about it, so I thought I'd just show you guys in the video. And there we go. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have. Um, you know, always appreciate the support and I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow in the next video.